This is a short video uh, stimulated by Peter from Australia. Peter, this is um, a variety I have that tends to flower later than everything else. If you can, I'm going to just go up here and show you that the flowering period is mostly over. There's one uh, for everything else in the field is pretty much over but this one I have right here I call it opal tends to flower late again just trying to make this quick uh, those are not open flowers if you see petals they're yesterday's flowers you look down the row you don't see anything if I had rows of those opal you would see open flowers now but I don't and um, this one here tends to be the first one open vintage oh is that an open flower no just a piece of white somewhere so um, yeah the the varieties do have different timings but it's all within a range of, oh, eight to ten days, primarily in the beginning. Oh, there's one flower there, I see. See that? You always will have a straggler. But, um, yeah, an, a range of end, uh, eight to ten days, primarily in the middle of that range. And then, um, um, then you have the different maturity rates for the different varieties. Some varieties come in as, thir as quickly, for me here, in 36 days, and then some as long as 44 days, and then um, as the season progresses, like the late, the last late, uh, uh, maturity t time is more like um, 50 days for maturity or even 55 days this is the rainbow ranch this is our our smallest ranch here in rainbow our first and smallest <laughs> okay talk to you later Peter